Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a review of this Artec 30 amp plasma cutter. Before I start, I want to make one or two things perfectly clear. I don't work for Artec. Artec on paying me to do this video. However, Artec do sponsor my YouTube channel. It's as simple as that. I've done videos for Artec for a lot of years now. Right, let's get started. The first thing about this little 30 amp cutter is it runs off a standard 30 amp supply so you can plug it in anyway. The cutter is rated to cut 8mm steel in a good clean cut and it'll cut 10mm steel plate. It's a severance cut, that means it'll hack its way through it. So if you're repairing digger buckets, this is not the machine for you. If you're repairing cars and doing light fabrication work, this probably is the ideal machine. I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer, show you what the control, well there's only one control on it, but I'll show you where the various fittings are, where the pipes go, where the air supply goes. I'll show the torch, I'll show how to fit the consumers into the torch, and then we'll do some cutting. I'm not going to play around with nice clean, shiny bits of metal, I'm going to go straight in and do a cut on 8mm steel. If it won't cut 8mm steel, I'm not interested in it because it says it'll do a clean cut on 8mm steel, so that's exactly what I would expect it to do. Obviously the front panel of the machine, you've got a pressure gauge that shows your air pressure. You want to run about 70 psi, nice clean air. That control there controls your ampage, there's a digital display in there. That port there, that's for the earth. You need a good earth, the earth's got to be clean. That's a control cable that the switch controls to turn the machine on and off. And that's where the torch goes. Torch simply screws onto there. I turn it round in the side of the machine the regulators in there they used to be on the back now they put them inside it's got a little filter and a little water trap on the bottom you do need to put another water trap on your compressor clean dry air is very important for plasma cutters anyway that's set away in there neatly out the road on the back of the set mains cable as I've said 13 amp on off switch and a PCL connector for your airline and that's all there is to it. Right so the earth lead goes in there, torch screws onto there, this only goes in one way, control cable goes into there, there's a little nut to make sure it's nice and secure. And I've already said air on the back 13 amp power in and basically it's ready to go. This is the torch that comes with it, nice little torch. It's what they call a drag torch, you touch the tip on and just drag it back. It's high frequency start, so it will start on rusty and dirty metal. Consumables are very cheap and you get a lot of consumables with it. Dead straight forward, they just simply push into there. These have been used once just to try it. You do get a nice consumable kit with a cutter. 20 of everything in there, and that's four in there in one on. So you've got 25 sets of consumables. I don't know what the wear rate is on them. I would imagine they'll last fairly well, but they are cheap and easy to easy to purchase. A little bit about safety. Obviously, you need gloves so you're doing burn your hands because you're, you're playing with liquid metal. So you want some decent gloves, just ordinary welding gloves. And I use a number four or a number five. Basically it's a gas welding shield. You can get away with just using dark glasses. But if you get blowback and spatter, you want it to hit that, not hit your face. So it's important that you have decent eye protection. Decent protection on your hands. And obviously your, your body's going to be covered up, preferably in cotton, something that won't burn. Be aware that it does put fumes out don't use in the confined space. Right, I think that's enough talk, we'll, uh, we'll cut some shit up now, I think. I've got an air feed of the machine, turn it on, cooling fan runs, that's your amperage control, down to 10, up to 30, we're going to start on 30, because I'm going to cut some 8mm plate. Right, if I press the torch, it'll stop, it runs a cooling cycle, you can see that the pressure there drops down to 70 
PSI, I'll get a close up with the, the gauge. The air pressure is quite important, as is clean air. Okay, so once I press the torch, drops out to 70 and stays at 70. Right, that's 8mm plate, it's still got the mill scale and rust on it. Right, so it does cut 8mm plate clean. It's a little bit tape, and what you need to do is put a, something on to guide the torch. I'll do it again, put a guide on. Clean square cut, because it can keep the torch held against there. There's nothing much the matter with that. Right, this is 6mm. Obviously when it cuts 8mm, it's going to cut 6mm. No problem at all. That is a clean cut at 6mm. There's no disputing the fact that it does what it's supposed to do. And that is clean. There's actually paint on this little bit of angle so we can cut that. Right, I like it. This is galvanised plate, horrible stuff. I would never Dream about cutting this inside, but outside we should be all right. So easy to use, like a pen. Two point five mil aluminium. Nice clean cut. Rusty piece of exhaust. And it cuts straight through that, no problem at all. So it's facing off, up and cuts 
rusty material, no problem. It's a little bit thicker on the end, that flange. Yes. Quite impressed the way it pierces on rusty material. Lambda sensor. Play all this all dear. Right, so you just touch it on and then drag it along and it'll cut. Just touch it on at the edge, that's it. Right, press the trigger. Are you sure? Yeah. Pull it over just slowly, slowly. Is any good? It's quite good, isn't it? Do you like it? Yeah. Am I allowed one? You can have that one. Can I? Can I have that one? Right, what do you want to do now? Chop the end off. That oh, end? Oh, chop that off. Nice and slowly. I know, but I can't do straight lines. To sum it up, I'm really impressed. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It clean cuts, 8 mil metal steel plate in players with anything thinner. The wife enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing the video. It was a good laugh. It really is a nice bit of kit. The, probably the best part of it is, it's all from a 13 amp conventional house plug. If you do decide to buy one of these or any of Artlex products, mention my name. It certainly wouldn't do any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching.